Hi, I'm Chilain. Good morning. In the past video in YouTube, I have seen so many good comments have given by all of you. Thank you to all of you. Today I am making another video in which I am explaining the chapter motion. So, what is motion? Suppose I am standing here. As compared to the surroundings, I am at rest. Suppose I am changing my place from one place to another place. That means, as compared to the surroundings, I am changing my position. So, I will say that I am in motion. So, what is motion? If the body changes its position with respect to the surrounding, that is called motion. So, suppose a book lying on a table. That what? In a rest position? So, that is in rest. Suppose a car is moving on the road. That is in motion. So, this is one example of motion. So, motion understood. What is motion? Now, different physical quantities have in motion. So, so all the physical quantities are classified into two categories. One is scalar quantity. Another is vector quantity. Physical quantities classified into two categories. Scalar quantity and vector quantities. So, what is scalar quantities? Scalar quantity, suppose you are bringing 2 kg of rice from the market. So, 2 kg of rice, the mass of 2 kg rice that we can measure has a numerical value but no direction is required. So, mass is a scalar quantity. How much, suppose in a day, how much time you are consuming to read? Suppose 5 hours or 6 hours. So, 5 hours or 6 hours is, has its numerical value, no direction required. So, time is also a scalar quantity. So, what is scalar quantity? The quantity which has only magnitude but no direction. It's called a scalar quantity. Example what? Mass, time, other many are there. I'll tell you. Then, what is vector quantity? Vector quantity, in the last video I have explained mass and weight, difference between mass and weight. Weight is what? When? Weight is nothing but a force with which the earth attracts the body towards its center or pulls the body towards its center. That means the weight, the force acting in a particular direction. So, the magnitude weight of a body we can say that has the magnitude as well as the direction. So, weight is a vector quantity. So, what is the definition of vector? The quantity which has magnitude as well as direction is called the vector quantity. Question may come differentiate between scalar quantity and vector quantity. So the definition you have to write both sides. Then one example you have to give. Suppose scalar quantity example you have given mass. In vector quantity you can give the example weight. So two mark question will get like this. Understood scalar and vector quantity. Next part is your distance and displacement. What is distance and what is displacement? Many times children have the confusion. All distance and displacement same thing like you will say that. Distance, how much distance you cover means that is the displacement. But not. It is totally different. How I am giving an example you can understand. See here. Suppose this is the place A. This is the place B. This is the place C. A person starts from A to B. The distance is 3 km. Then go from B to C. This is 4 km. Now the distance between A and C is 5 km. So, this is the initial position of the person and this is the final position of the person. So, what is the distance covered? In different ways from the initial to final point a person to reach. In different ways the person can go. In this way the person can go. Or in this way the person can go. So, the distance covered in this way. Distance is equal to 
ए बी प्लस बी सी इज इक्वल टू थ्री प्लस फोर सेवन किलोमीटर बट इन दिस वे इफ द पर्सन विल गो द डिस्टेंस कवर्ड इज इक्वल टू फाइव किलोमीटर द सेम पर्सन कवरिंग द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम इनिशियल टू फाइनल पॉइंट ए टू सी बट द डिफरेंस इज सी हियर इट इज सेवन किलोमीटर हियर इट इज फाइव किलोमीटर सो एक्चुअल द डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द पर्सन फ्रॉम इनिशियल टू फाइनल पोजिशन इज हाउ मच फाइव किलोमीटर बट द थ्रू द पाच द टोटल पाच कवर टू कम टू पोजिशन सी हाउ मच डिस्टेंस कवर सेवन किलोमीटर सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस हियर the net displacement of the person is 5 km that is called displacement but here 3 plus 4 7 km is the distance covered by the person distance covered means the total path covered by the person from initial to final point irrespective of the direction it does not depend upon the direction in this direction it is coming again changing the direction in different direction but In this way, you see between the initial and final position in a straight line, in a particular direction, the shortest possible distance covered from A to C is five kilometer. So five kilometer is the displacement, and here seven kilometer is the distance. So understand the difference between distance and displacement. Distance is the total path covered by the body irrespective of the direction. is called distance so definition already teacher sent to you in the study material again i am also saying if you want to write you pause the video and you can write also so i am telling the definition also so what is distance the total path covered by the moving body irrespective of the direction is called distance but displacement is what the total or the shortest possible distance between the initial and final point in a particular direction is called displacement understood what is the difference between distance and displacement displacement in a particular direction but distance have no particular direction so distance is a what quantity i have told you previously distance is a scalar quantity because it has no direction particular direction but displacement has a particular direction so displacement is a vector quantity so many numericals also come on distance and displacement one example i am giving you suppose here here this position suppose your classroom this position This is your staff room. So from this position to this position, suppose the distance is hundred meter. A boy from your class going to the staff room to bring the copy. Again, returning back to the classroom. So what is the total distance covered here by the boy going? 100 meter plus again returning back 100 meter so total distance covered is 200 meter but if a question asked also find the displacement of the ball so here the initial position here it is going again it is returning back so final position also here at the same place so the shortest possible distance displacement is same the shortest possible distance between the initial and final position initial position also here final position also here so displacement is what this is this one is distance displacement is here then what between initial and final position initial point where final point also there so displacement is zero understood lies two more question will come here the distance covered is 200 meter and displacement is zero understood the difference between distance and displacement clear the next one is your speed and velocity what is speed sometimes we are saying that 
the train is moving faster than the bus. Suppose 600 km covered by the bus in 10 hours, where the train covering 500 km in 10 hours. Time is same. In the same time, the train covering 500 km, sorry, the bus covering 500 km and the train covering 600 km. Understood? The train covering how much kilometer distance? 600 km. But the train covering 500 km. So which speed is more? Definitely we will say that train speed is more, covering more distance. So this uh, speed means what? The distance covered per unit time. How much distance covered in a particular time? That is called speed. In a, <coughs> no direction is required for speed. In irrespective of the direction. So, speed is distance by time. Distance here covered, how we are calculating speed? The how much distance covered divided by time. So, speed definition is distance covered by the body per unit time. It's called speed. That is called speed. So, speed formula will be speed will be distance by time. Understood? So what is speed? The distance covered per unit time is called speed. So distance speed is equal to distance by time. So what is the unit of speed? Speed distance unit is what I have told you from the formula you can calculate the unit. Distance unit is meter. Time unit is second. So the SI unit of speed is meter per second. Understood? Speed. What is speed? Like this, what is velocity? Velocity also the same thing as the speed. The distance covered per unit time but in a particular direction. Have a particular direction. Then we can say that the we can find velocity. So what is the definition of velocity? The distance covered per unit time in a particular direction is called velocity. Speed is what? The distance covered per unit time. The velocity definition also we can write. The distance covered in a particular time whose definition? Displacement. So also we can write velocity. The displacement per unit time is called velocity. Understood the difference? Velocity unit also. So formula is what? We can write. Velocity formula Velocity is equal to displacement by time So formula you see observe what is the difference speed is distance by time but velocity is displacement by time but displacement unit is same meter and time unit is what second so meter or second Understood the difference between speed and velocity. There are other things also, different types of motion is there. I will explain later, easy part, but these parts are most important. Speed and velocity, some numericals will get in the exam. Distance and displacement, numericals will get. Differentiate between distance and displacement or speed and velocity will get. So these are the important parts, so which I have focused today. So hope you can understand these things. If you not understood, you can call me in my whatsapp number okay bye then again in the next video i'll meet you thank you